No, th th thank you very much, uh, outgoing deputy chair of the NCOP and the outgoing deputy speaker of the National Assembly. You would agree, Commander-in-Chief, that it is pure opportunism, it's, in, it's infertile, it's actually childish and unprincipled for anyone to want to exonerate themselves from the nine years where President Zuma was a president of the ANC and of the country. And of all the failures that characterize the ANC since 1994, those who do so are not different from Bruno Mtolo, from Dr. J.S. Muroka, who when things were difficult in the liberation movement, they compromised the struggle at critical moments. Maybe what Patrick Lukota said, Honorable Patrick Lukota said earlier, best testimony that you have got Bruno Mutolos, you have got J.S. Morocas, who collaborated with the special branch. We want to officially recommend to you, President, that you should allow the Chief Justice to appoint the Judicial Commission of Inquiry to investigate your involvement with a special branch during apartheid. And we do so because this allegation of your collaboration with the establishment is not coming for the first time. When you applied for membership of the Communist Party in the early 1990s, there was an investigation internally which concluded in the positive that you were having questionable security arrangements in the 70s and in the 80s. So perhaps to clear the air, we cannot have an office of the president that has got questionable relationship with the apartheid special branch. I don't think that we should deal with these issues. We should take a leaf from Amilka Cabral, who says, hide nothing from the masses of our people. Tell no lies. Expose lies whenever they are told. Mark no Point difficulties, order, mistakes, failures. Honorable Shubambo, Claim no easy hold on. Honorable Form. Point of that is order. what Amil Kakabra says. Point of order. Honorable Shivambo. Honorable yes. Speaker. Let's take your seat, please. Take your seat, Honorable Shivambo. Yes, Honorable Member. I'm rising here on a point of order. Yes. In particular, when he talks about the Communist Party issues, that is not true. People must not come here and talk about things they don't right. know. Honorable, Honorable uh, Shivambo, take your seat. Yes, Honorable Member. Is the Honorable Shivambo prepared to take a question about the misleading of the House that he has just done? Honorable Shivambo, are you prepared to take a question? I, I don't take questions from people who have ideologically misled the Communist Party for a very long time to its degeneration now. I'll never do that. In other words, you haven't got a response. Now, I just quoted Amika Cabral, uh, Chief Whip of the, of the ruling honorable, party. Honorable I'm not speaker. quoting, yes. I'm not quoting yeah. the newspaper honorable articles, member, the local yeah. newspaper articles you, that you have been quoting yesterday here. Honorable Shivambo. We're referring to Amika Cabral. Honorable Shivambo. Who says you must not tell honorable lies. Honorable Shivambo. Yes. Take your seat. Honorable member, what, what are you rising on? On the, on the point of order, uh, House Chair, uh, um, sorry, Deputy Speaker, the point of order pertains to the principle of uh, the casting of aspersions. Yes. It has gone on with the earlier on, and it slipped through. And once again, Honorable, uh, Honorable Shibambu, and I, I dare ask you, Honorable Deputy Speaker, yes. to even take a handset and really rule whether what he is continuing to do does not really constitute a casting of aspersions okay. on the good character of the Honorable His yes. Excellency, the President. Thank you. So we may not allow him to continue to, to in the... We will do that. Oh, go, go ahead, Honorable Member. Honorable Deputy Speaker. Uh, honorable yes, Deputy yes, Honorable Speaker. Member. I just want to raise a, rise on a point of order because this comrade has been disrupting speakers here. Honorable and, and he does this consistently and the chief whip of the ANC is not intervening. Honorable, uh, and if you are going to continue like that, we'll do that with every speaker of the ANC. Honorable, honorable every Malema. time the opposition rises here, honorable this Mem fellow just stand up 
and raise issues that Hon are not there. Honorable member, please please take your seat. Honorable members, honorable members, uh, please order. Let's proceed. Go ahead, honorable member. Now, when we debated SONA in 2018, uh, after the bloodless coup d'etat, which was correct, we then said to you, President, we're going to hold you accountable according to what you say and the commitments that you made here. We're going to do so now and quote exactly verbatim what you said on each and every issue not the meeting commitments which we cautioned you about. You said in SONA 2018 that in the next three months, we will launch a huge cancer campaign similar to the HIV counseling and testing campaign that we launched. Did that happen? No. You also say that the Accelerated Schools Infrastructure Delivery Initiative Program will complete all outstanding projects by the end of next year. Did that happen? No. You also said that uh, starting from this year, referring to 2018, free higher education and training will be available for first year students from household with a combined annual income of up to 350,000. Did that happen? It did not happen. That is why, the, that is why Matt Donsella, fighter Matt Donsella was killed in DUT. You also said that government is finalizing a small business and innovation fund targeted at startups. Did that happen? No. You further said that we are going to assemble a team to speed up the implementation of new projects, particularly water projects, health care and maintenance, and road maintenance. Did that happen? No. You further said that they're going to speed up industrialization. Did that happen? No. All the industrialization aspects and attempts are a joke in South Africa. From 1994 up until now, there is less than six special economic zones. There's been less than 11 billion rands investments there. There's been less than 10,000 jobs created. So for 25 years, 10 billion rands. Compare that to other expenditure items on the budget. And you are saying a pursuit of industrialization. That is why we remain a colonial economy which exports semi-processed and raw materials to the established economies and then we import finished goods and products. Go and check the top 10 imports from China, from Europe, from US, and you'll realize that all of them are finished goods and products. And all our top 10, actually top 20 exports to China are, are semi-processed products. And that, that is the relationship that South African economy has with the rest of the world. But you further said in the State of Nation address that before the end of 2018, you're going to finalize the Minerals and Petroleum Resources Development Act. What did you do to that legislation? You withdrew it. And who did that? The Minister of Mineral Resources. Where was he? He was in Australia. Meeting with possibly the person you quoted here, a Mineral Resources Minister, comes here to quote Mark Kutifan from Anglo-American, and then he says that I'm giving you lessons in mining. So we're being educated by Anglo-American. The, the, the company, the corporation that has raped this country, the corporation that has plundered this country and then we're taking lessons from that. The MPRDA is withdrawn now. What does the MPRDA amendment bill say we should do? It sets a specific amount of minerals that must be locally beneficiated. It won't happen now. It says that the state should own a certain component of all the petroleum resources. So the bill was withdrawn so that you can have total with a B issue holding of 10%. And I'll, I'll, it, it won't be a mistake if you go deeper into that 10%, you will find the occurrence of the president you will find there is no way that Pembani people and all those people who are in Shanduka are not involved in that commitment. But let's leave, let's leave the commitments which you have not fulfilled, which you have dealt with. Your own conference gave you a mandate about the South African Reserve Bank, about the creation of a state bank which the acting premier, well, the real premier of KwaZulu Natal says must be established, about the creation of a pharmaceutical company, about expropriation of land without compensation. Are those things happening? No. Are they going to happen? No. That is what is dealing with, dealing with here. Of an, a president that just comes to speak 
and then makes a lot of commitment. You clap hands, he commits on summits. Summits are easy to organize. It's just a travel agent that we need there to organize for you. And it doesn't have impact on the lives of the people. Two questions that you must answer when you respond tomorrow. One is that why are you interviewing the SARS commissioner in secret? You want to impose an incompetent person who doesn't have qualifications on the revenue collector. Why is the SARS commissioner being interviewed in secret? Two, is why is the company that is going to supply engineers to inspect the power plants of ESCOM coming from a company that is benefiting from the independent power producers? Honorable Member, where is the logic in that? These are the issues that we're dealing with. The people of South Africa must see the hypocrisy I'm and vote for mind. the EFF on the Honorable Malachi.